Hey guys, it's Mike from Rolling Into Retirement, that channel where a couple of RV full-timers take on RV tips, campground reviews, food and wine, photography, and much more. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do a real simple job, and that's just changing the anode rod in our suburban water heater. Stay tuned. All right, well, welcome back to the channel. We really appreciate you being here. Uh, we're going to uh, change the anode rod in our uh, suburban hot water heater. Now, before we do that, I do want to thank you for subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little alarm bell below, and it'll let you know when there is uh, new videos coming out. Uh, and also, stay with us till the end of the video. Uh, recently, when we left New Jersey, our friends had a great uh, gourmet dinner in our honor, and uh, there's some video for that, and you'll see the link up above, and also in the uh, description below. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the anode rod in a suburban hot water heater. Now, an anode rod is part of a suburban hot water heater's drain plug. You see the anode rod is here and it's connected to the plug. We're gonna remove the plug. Uh, generally, they say that it should be done uh, and checked at least once a year. I checked it about a year ago, it seemed to be okay. So we're doing this now and it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Now, if you have an Atwood hot water heater, in all likelihood, you're not gonna have this anode rod connected to it. So the anode rod, it's a, usually made of like aluminum or magnesium, and it sacrifices itself so you don't get the rust and corrosion inside the tank. All right, so what you need, obviously, is the RV water heater uh, nine and a half inch anode rod. Uh, you're gonna need a one and one sixteenth inch socket, a, uh, obviously, the socket wrench, and then also what I use is, I've had this for years. Uh, I used to, uh, we had an Atwood water heater on our fifth wheel and generally all I had to do at the end of the season or whatever is I would just open up the, and drain the hot water heater. And then this piece goes in and you just flush out the inside of the hot water heater. So we'll do that as well. All right, well the first thing to remember obviously is to shut the hot water heater off, which we've already done. Uh, you can let it sit to cool or you can obviously just run out the hot water. Uh, I kind of did the latter, I just ran out the hot water. Uh, then just be sure you go over and shut the water off so you don't get any uh, gushing out of this plug when we open it. Okay, next we're going to take the uh, 1 and 1 16th inch socket and we're going to put it here. Start to loosen it, loosen the rod, I know we're going to get a little blowback of water here, and here it comes, okay, I can tell you already, this rod is shot. This rod is shot. So when I looked at it last year, it did not look that bad. But if you take a look at it now, there you go. All right, so let's just show you what it was and what it's supposed to look like. And that is really shot. But it's also showing that it did its job. So we're gonna let this drain a little bit. And once it's done, we're gonna clean out the inside just a bit, and we're also going to flush it like I showed you. All right, so next, we're gonna use the uh, attachment I have, and we're gonna rinse out the inside of this. So you just go in, and you can actually see, I'm not sure you can see it on the camera, but you can see some of the bits and pieces coming out. I 
and we're going to continue to let it drain just a little bit. And while we're doing that, I want to get inside and just clean out that inside portion there as best as we can. I'm using a Adobe pad just to help get that out without damaging threads. Okay, now before we continue and add the uh, the new anode rod, I just like to add a some plumber's tape. So we're just going to put that plumber's tape right around there. So we've added some of the plumber's tape as well. And now we're going to put the rod in. Okay, I've hand tightened it. And we will finish up. And you don't want to over tighten it. Okay, now that we've added the new anode rod, uh, I've gone back out and I've turned on the water. And of course, check to make sure there isn't any leaks, which we've done. Uh, generally just wipe around there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hot water heater back on. And that completes it. All right, well, there you have it. That's the uh, change of the anode rod for our suburban hot water heater. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you one more time. Uh, if I was smarter back then, uh, and you know you learn things as you go along, uh, for this price, when I went and checked it, because I was told you should always check it after a year, I would have just went ahead and replaced it. So next year, uh, when I check it, I'll always have an extra one of these around, and I will go ahead and just go replace it no matter what. Uh, if you guys have any uh, comments about this, uh, how do you do your anode rod, how often you check for it, uh, any stories you might have, leave them down in the comments below. YouTube likes it when people comment and helps uh, the subscriber base for our channel. And uh, also, as I promised, I'm going to put a link up above and it's to our last gourmet dinner that uh, we have been part of for uh, 25 years uh, you can reach that link either through uh, our website rolling into retirement.com and there's a link below to that and on there you can go to a link to uh, our uh, rolling into retirement blog as well as our gourmet blog now our preparation of our dinner was uh, prepared in the RV as well as our good friends Gary and Maggie uh, they did theirs in the RV as well. So there you have the little link to RVs uh, in this gourmet uh, video you'll see. So once again, we thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this just answered maybe just a few questions to a few newbies or maybe some of us who need a little prodding. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that alarm bell. And as Betty Ann and I always like to say at the end of our videos, Enjoy the ride.